When it comes down to it, health is about as basic as you can get in terms of priority for the nation or for humankind. When you have these racial and ethnic disparities in care and outcomes, I mean, you're basically wasting the talents of millions of people, frankly. And unless we work on eliminating and reducing disparities, we're not going to improve quality of care in this country. It takes 17 years from finding a better way to provide care for people to actually having organizations on the front lines implementing that better way. It's critical that we speed up that process. This program has afforded us an opportunity to meet with people with a similar focus who are doing different kinds of interventions and seeing what work and doesn't work. The knowledge sharing is really, really key. Our goal is to reduce blood pressure in African-American patients with poorly controlled hypertension. A reminder system to remind doctors to be more aggressive in treating high blood pressure. Evaluation of uh, self-blood pressure monitoring. Identify patients in their primary clinics that have depression and offer them uh, culturally tailored interventions. The telephonic counseling depression intervention um, It's specifically focused on a uh, low-income English and Spanish-speaking adult population. Pay the patients for coming in to keep their appointments, to do their exercises, to take their medications. The impact of small financial incentives in motivating patients who have hypertension to engage with their physicians. The more programs that are putting money into this, that are funding it, that are interested in it, the more important the movement becomes and, and the more steam will gain collectively. Some things go across all lines, all class lines, all race lines. And if people in New York City and Birmingham, Alabama are having the same kind of issue with their patients that I am, when all of us get together and collectively put our heads together and do these different programs, you're going to learn how to deal with other issues that you may not even thought about. It gives us a huge breadth and a huge amount of experience um, where we can pull from all those different projects and all those different settings and apply those findings. This is important work and good people care about these issues and are doing the best they can to try to come up with solutions for this problem. I think it's really important for academic researchers who have done these things to actually try to translate the research that they've done and patient safety and in information technology and apply it in these clinics. So we do need to do things that involve provider education, um, showing people their data, empowering patients to play a more active role in their care, and very importantly, changing the system in terms of changing the clinics so that care is more coordinated and managed uh, better as well as creating the financial systems that allow this to be sustainable. I think that we have an opportunity now as a nation um, to move the next step uh, and uh, move from, from just having identified health disparities uh, to actually addressing them. And, and I feel that there is momentum to do that, which makes me hopeful.